In this next section, I will talk about the observability of DHCP reservations last lease time. When creating a DHCP reservation in BlueCat Address Manager, customers have expressed concern that they have no indication at all when, or indeed if, that DHCP reservation has ever been used. We do not currently send feedback updates from a BDDS to the BAM to surface this information. This feature leverages DHCPmon to work out when there was a last lease on this address. It then updates the last lease time field on the BAM to track this information. Okay, let's start the demo. I will navigate to the IP space and then the IP version 4 blocks. From here, I will select my home network range. As you can see, the range is wide open. I will choose to assign an address, which happens to be 192.168.12.155. As I bring up the properties page, there are some required fields. Here I have assigned it as a DHCP reserved address and filled in the MAC address, host name, and location. Once I have saved the change, I can go back to the previous page and it shows up as expected with the configuration I just set. Now, before I can test this, I need to push this configuration to my BDDS with the deploy server option. This might take a minute, but when it's finished, we will hopefully get a successful deployment status, which we have. Now we can go over to the server log and choose to view the DHCP configuration that is live on the box. We can find this entry under the host section. It's good to note here that while we call this a DHCP reserved address in our product, the DHCP config file lists it as a host. For this next step, I will bring up the interface I have tied to this address and see what happens. I'll go back to the server and check the DHCP log. A quick glance at the log shows that the machine I brought up did in fact solicit an address and because its MAC address matched the DHCP reserved address I had configured, it hands out the correct address. You can also see in the log that the lease file was updated to reflect the lease time. A quick release and renew on my client shows up again, and as you can see, the lease time gets written again. I'll head back up to the IP space page and verify that the last lease time was captured. And that was the purpose of this feature. We now have visibility into the last lease time for a DHCP reserved address.